Hey, yeah, good morning. This is Tanetta, your relationship coach at Speak Your Truth. And I want to say good morning to you all. And I'm actually, like I said in the description, I'm washing dishes this morning. But I did want to come on, of course, and um, just kind of talk to you all about, of course, status quo. Well, dealing with marriage, I guess I put it that way. Marriage and commitment and some of the things I've been seeing, some of the things I've, of course, commented on and had conversations with folks about. Um, that's been very interesting to me at least because I know the way I feel about um, of course marriage and commitment and that kind of thing as well even though it's kind of changed throughout the years but like I said I definitely know my views as well and it just seems like some things to me doesn't make sense still I guess I say that and my partner and I we actually had this conversation this morning too y'all on the way to well on the way for um, take I guess going to his job to drop him off because it's um, 643 so we, we were up at 4.15 this morning. That, that's it, like, all during the week, usually during the week. So, of course, um, get him back to forth to work. Then I got to go to work and pick him up and all that kind of stuff. So we, of course, compromising with this one car. So, and, of course, making things work. But like I said, I know marriage. I know commitment. That kind of thing always deals with compromise. And hopefully you all can still hear me well. But like I said, marriage always, marriage and commitment always deals with compromise. But like I said, just some things that I don't under, I can't say I don't understand because I understand what people are saying. But in my mind, it just, I, like I said, I know I have a different way of thinking than a lot of people, it seems like, I guess. Um, especially women, from what I was told. Um, it just seems like some things, of course, should, should be challenged. I guess I'd say that. And that's why I, of course, created the, the Taboo Conversations. Um, and I know I didn't have it last night because, of, uh, of course, we were doing all kinds of things with the Super Bowl yesterday. And I was trying to, of course, get some rest and work on some other things as well. But I did at least want to come to you all this morning with this particular video to let you know that, of course, we still having our taboo conversation. It's just about something else um, as, as of this morning. But like I said, as far as, and just to give you all a little bit of preference, um, a little bit of background history, um, of course, you all know I'm Tanetta, of course, from St. Louis, I always tell you that. But the way I've always thought about different things in life and has always come from my experiences, um, come from my experiences, the lessons, the folks that I see around me, what they're doing, what's working and what's not working, I guess I put it that way. Um, but growing up, of course, I've always saw the things, it seems like the things that are, that are not working first, the things that are not working, the things that I don't want to do, I guess I put it that way. And marriage was, of course, one of them. Um, ever since I was young, I've always said I don't see the point of being married. Um, what's the point? It's stupid. You can do the same thing. All these kind of things. And I'll get into that in a few too. But, but like I said, throughout the years, of course, I have been married. I've been married. I was married in right, right out of college. I was married in my 20s, actually. Um, 20. I think I was 21 going on 22. I think. I think something like that. I don't know. Shoot. Right. But as soon as I graduated college, is all I can tell you. Um, I, I was married. I guess like a few months later. And of course, going through that marriage. Of course, the marriage. Of course, we're divorced now. We were divorced. Um. I actually left um, like my mid twenties, I guess. I don't know, hell, I don't, I don't know the years, but whatever it is, I left it. I was in my twenties because of um, his 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 infidelity, his cheating, finding out that he had a child and that kind of thing. I gave myself about a month. I think about two months. Um, I was able to save enough money and of course find me an apartment and leave. I wasn't staying in that kind of environment. I know folks do, but like I said, that was something that I've always. Um, let my partners know, I guess I put it that way, that there was something that I was not putting up with and not dealing with. That's just a lot of disrespect, and I'd rather that you talk to me first because you never know how I may feel about the situation. Hell, I may want to join you in threesome. You never know. Like I said, you, you definitely, I, I always tell folks just to be honest with me first. Um, and I want to say this as well. Before I even got married, of course, uh, me and this guy, uh, back in actually back, back, back when I was in college, talking about taboo conversations and um, status quo and all those kind of things. He and I actually were um, had kind of like similar thinking, I guess I would say that. And of course, like I said, um, he and I were actually looking to to start a like like a magazine that talked about and challenged all the status quo and challenged the norms and all those kind of things. So like I said, this stuff that I'm talking about as far as taboo conversations and the norms and all these things is not just because I have this relationship group. Um, like I said, this has been talking. I've been talking about this since I was young. Well, actually, way before college. But I mean, that's when I met somebody that I could, of course, talk to things like this about, and they kind of felt similar ways, I guess. And we always had awesome conversations about it. I guess to put it that way. So I just wanted to let you all know that um, in this group, before I even get into the topic about marriage, I know I got at least an hour to talk to y'all. But but before I get into the topic about marriage, like I said. Um, 
I am going to have taboo conversations, which I know that's the name of the, this title as well. And I usually have them on Sundays, but sometimes it's going to change, especially this month because I have a lot of events and things like that coming up. So, of course, I will let you all know, um, at least for Valentine's Day as well, and the following weekend, I'm going to have it um, taboo conversations on a different day. I have no idea what day it's going to be on yet, but probably on a different day because we have different kind of like events and dinner and stuff like that planned. Then it's my guy's birthday the following weekend after th after um. Well, I said Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my goodness! But like I said, I definitely will still be having some 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 conversations with you all. That of course will be taboo. That's something that you all can think about. And like I said, when I'm talking about these topics and going on about these topics, it's not to say that I want you all to, of course, not get married because it's not a good thing, or that I want you all to have threesomes in your relationships or have an open marriage or whatever it is. I'm not saying that at all. Like I said, my main thing was always ever since I was young was to, of course shed light on different topics, shed light on different things that challenge the norm, just to give you all a different way of thinking. Like I said, it's nothing to, of course, let t me telling you to, to go out and do all these things, to be polygamous or, or, to do, to, or, or to do whatever it is in your relationship. Like I said, this is just me wanting to, um, like I said, talk about different things, um, talk about different norms, talk about our way of thinking, I guess I put it that way. And just like I said, just challenging it. And it's not just about relationships. It's been about everything you can think of, to be honest. Religion, everything with me, actually. I've always challenged stuff like that. And like I said, that's just me. I know I'm a change agent. I, I know I know that. Um, I've been knowing that. And that's something that I pride myself on, even though others may be like, what the hell is she talking about? She's talking about this. She's saying all these things. But like I said, definitely, I'm not trying to tell you I have to live your lives. But like I said, within this group, I want to make sure that I touch on topics that, of course, I've always had questions about and others may have questions about as well. Like I said, I'm not afraid to talk about anything. Um, but I want to, I just I, I just want to make sure that you all knew that and to know where I'm coming from and that kind of thing as well. Like I said, it's not to tell you all to go be in these open relationships or do anything like that at all. I'm in a monogamous relationship with my partner, just he and I at this present time. And like I said, that's how our relationship is going. But it's not to say that I haven't practiced anything else in my past. I think I bet you all know that I, I did try swinging in the past as well, just to see what that would be like, because I've always thought about it and thought on this show real sex. I think I told y'all about as well. But like I said, that was just something that I want to try and do and just I always want to try stuff. That's, I'm just an, an adventurous type of person like that. Some things I have not tried, no. A lot of things I haven't tried, actually, but there are some things I have tried I like and I may still do. But like I said, definitely, like I said, it's not for me to inject whatever I'm talking about, my beliefs, of course you will hear my beliefs, of course, that kind of thing, but you don't have to, to do the same things I'm doing at all, like I said, I'm here as a coach, and I'm here as a woman, a black woman, talking about different things that has bothered me throughout the years, and different things that I've always challenged, and thought about, and wonder why people are so hell-bent on doing things one way, when there's many ways of doing things, like I said, that's just always been the way I thought about stuff, and now I'm going to go ahead and get into the video, so I can start talking about that, but I just want to make sure <clears throat> that you all kind of understood where I was coming from and where I'm going to be coming from, I guess I put it that way. As I'm getting you prepared for the video later on this month as well, because one of our members, uh, actually, um, well, I guess we, 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 I'll talk about it probably next, the week before, because he's going to be on, on video with me on an interview on the 28th, actually, uh, at 6 for Taboo Conversation. But um, like I said, I'll definitely talk more about that, but we're, we're going to be talking about uh, the concept of, of, of monogamy, actually. So so just to let you all know, just, just to give you like a little heads up, that kind of thing, so you all can make sure that you're tuning in. That's the last Sunday of the month. But let me get into, to, I guess, into, the, in, into today's conversation. But like I said, it was more about <clears throat> me wanting to let you all know how I feel about things and where I'm seeing this, the, the conversations within the group. And the reason why I'm saying that because I know some folks may be joining or joined recently or that I invited, that kind of thing that may be a lot more religious and a lot more closed-minded, I guess I put it that way, about certain things, and you can't have this in the bedroom, you shouldn't do that, it should only be a man and woman, this kind of thing. And like I said, I'm here to challenge all those beliefs. Like I said, that's something that I will continue doing for the rest of my life. I just, I, I, mean, I just want y'all to know that. Until somebody shuts me up or somebody kills me, I put it that way, I'm going to be talking about these things for the rest of my life, so I just want to let y'all know that too. Um, like I said, I'm not scared to talk about anything. I know folks are going to be in my inbox, I'm sure. Uh, probably after this video as well, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I already know that, I'm sure. But like I said, with this video, this video, of course, came out of talking about marriage. This video came out of just me thinking about 
like I said, I, I, I talk to a lot of folks <laughs> throughout the day, I put it that way, throughout the days, the weeks, that kind of thing, just trying to get the mindset of people. And as far as marriage goes as well, this is a relationship group, so of course, commitment to marriage is going to be talked about, it has been talked about in this group as well. But lately, I mean, not lately, but actually for years now, I've been seeing it just seems like a lot of people are just so hell-bent, not saying that marriage is a bad thing. In the beginning, yes, I thought that marriage was, I mean, I, I didn't see the point of marriage, I guess I put it that way. I'm kind of leaning towards, I see the point, like see some points now, but but like I said, some things still, <clears throat> but some things still, of course, it doesn't make sense to me. Or it makes sense, I guess, in a way, but I, I don't, I just don't understand the thinking behind it, which I understand, I know that, I know the way that, 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 that folks are raised, I know the folks that way, their, their families' values and beliefs, and that's usually what's instilled in them. And like I said, I've always been one that has always changed different things about me or changed the way I've thought about something because I don't see the reason to, of course, just be hell-bent on one thing. And like I said, seeing all this stuff, <clears throat> I, I guess I can just say lately, but I've been seeing it for years. Um, and this is, I know everybody in this group isn't black, that kind of thing at all, but of course I'm a black woman, you all see that. And of course some of the things I will talk about, of course, is going to be directed more towards black people, I guess I can say that. Because that's who I have the ex more experience with, I guess I can say that. And this video is directed more towards black women. But of course anybody, well, well black women and men in general. But like I said, anybody can, of course, I'm sure this may have happened in your life, I don't know. But like I said, growing up black and seeing all these things going on, I'm like, okay, why do people still talk about this? Why folks still do this? But like I said, that's who this video is, is geared towards. But like I said, if you're not black, that's fine. You can still stay here. I don't care. That's fine. You can still definitely join this conversation. It's for anybody. But like I said, this is this is who this video today is kind of pointing towards because it's something that's bothered me, like I said, about marriage. And I keep seeing all the... Um, I can't say every, well, it has been almost every single day, but it just all the time, it just seems like I see, I mean, the men aren't talking about it as much. The men are more of on an either, so, I mean, either, either or kind of stand, I guess, stance. But the, um, from not, I can't say all black women, but a lot of the ones that I've been seeing, especially lately with, with some of the conversations I've been having, the groups I've been in, that kind of thing. And I'm like, okay, what's the meaning behind all this? Because I'm not understanding. Um, but of course, I've been seeing a lot of people, women talk about, but people just asking questions in general about, I guess if you all want to call it shacking up, staying with your partner before you're married, that kind of thing. And a lot of folks I'm seeing that that seems, seems like it's an issue, especially when it comes to those who are more religious and that kind of thing and more Christian based or Catholic. I don't know whatever religion, but but just but just more more strict religion, I guess. I, I don't really know what it is, but if somebody knows, definitely comment down below. But like I said, it just seems like marriage is just seems like from the black women I've seen a lot lately, it just seems like, <clears throat> It's more of, you can't say that, I guess you can't live with somebody before you get married. And like I said, this may be happening in other races too, I don't know. But this is what I've seen from the black folks that I've either been around, knew, know, that kind of thing as well. But you can't get married, you, I mean, you can't stay together before marriage and it's a sin and you shouldn't do that. And God said you can't do this and that. I'm Like I said, while I understand all that, my main thing has always been since I was younger, how will you know a person if you have not stayed with the person to at least figure out how they live in your, how they're going to live in your household, how responsible they're going to be in their, I guess, in your household. How are you going to, of course, know if that person's actually going to um, be willing to, of course, wash the dishes in your household, I put it that way, or to take care of the finances, and help you take care of the finances, or, what, or help, you, help you take care of the kids, whatever it is. Like I said, that's always been my thing, is how people are going to know that. And I know my partner, of course, like I said, we all, me and him talked about that this morning, but it just, I mean, we, 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 we both understand where both of us are coming from. Um, but like I said, definitely it just seems like it's just something that, that really bothers me. It still bothers me. And I see a lot of stuff talking about, like I said, marriage and like it's the know-all, end-all, the only thing that, that you can do in this lifetime, and that how, which I know is, is important to some people. I'm not saying that. But like I said, definitely it just seems like it's just like the know-all, end-all, be-all for a lot of folks that I've seen. The majority of them were black. And like I said, my, my stance on marriage, because I hadn't saw a really good marriage at all, Growing up, my, my mother and father were, of course, he was abusive towards her, beating her all the time, that kind of thing. Other family friends, I've seen that as well. I'm like, their marriage wasn't good, so what's the point of getting married? Um, the only person I can say I, I can kind of relate to is my aunt, I guess one of my aunts, um, having, of course, a marriage, and she's still married now. Of course, it seemed like it's going well, that kind of thing. But like I said, for others, I haven't really seen that in my life. I don't know if anybody else has seen a good marriage or that kind of thing, or whatever you want to call a positive, healthy marriage to you. But I knew that, of course, a lack of communication, 
um, domestic violence, drug usage, all these things going on. Somebody ain't working, nobody's taking care of the household. People are depending on each other for whatever reason, thinking they're gonna be the know-all end off of their life and, and to get their life together when marriage isn't like that. To, to me, it's never been that way. But like I said, that's, that's just what I haven't seen. I haven't seen it being that way. I haven't seen a marriage, except for the one I just told you about being kind of healthy and being a, a better marriage th th than the ones I've seen in the past, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, I had no frame of reference for that. And I still, I mean, like I said, I can see it on TV all day long, but my thing is, of course, seeing it in person as well, seeing it with somebody that I'm around. So just let me know down below if you all have seen, um, I have known somebody that had, that's been together for years and years and years that has a healthy marriage, that kind of thing, just just put that down below. Or somebody that you think is a great, having a great marriage, that kind of thing. But like I said, that's always kind of bothered me. And I'm just like, okay, what's going on? It just seems like, I mean, I know that from all the conversations that I've had, um, I can say in the last few months, um, about marriage and that kind of thing, and me just challenging these, these women about how they feel about marriage, it's just like, okay, if marriage isn't the know-all, be-all, it seems like a lot of people think that once they, of course, get married, their partner's not going to cheat on them, their partner's just going to be for them, um, their partner's going to do whatever, I guess, they ask within the marriage, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's what all, that's just what it seems like people are, are saying. And I have seen, like I said, broken down some of these conversations to others as well, not in this group particularly, but in other groups that I'm in, and just conversations that I'm in, period, just like I said, challenging these things. And I'm like, okay, it's because you got married doesn't mean that all those things your partner was cheating before or your partner was being mean to you before, your partner says they love you now, that kind of thing, because you all got married, that's not going to stop. And it just seems like people just just, just think about marriage as the end all be all, when to me it's not. I mean, you, you yes, you can have a marriage, you can have a committed relationship, whether you're married or not, but it doesn't mean that marriage is the only thing that you should work towards, in my eyes. Like I said, that's just my opinion about relationships and stuff like that. There's more to to a, to a to a commitment than just a marriage. Now I know I've seen many people, of course, get married, that kind of thing, expecting all these things to change, expecting their partner to be different. And my thing is, of course, I've been married. Like I just said, I was married for I don't know how many years, five, I don't know, something. But I was married. And like I said, he wasn't cheating on me that I know of before the marriage. But I mean, after seeing, of course, that in, within the marriage, the person's still going to cheat. The person's still going to do the same thing, I guess, whether it's a nasty attitude or not wanting to pay the bills or not wanting to, to, to care about you or not satisfying you in the bedroom, those things are not going to stop because y'all get married. And that's what I, I mean, like I said, that's always something that has bothered me. And I'm like, okay, do people not understand? Well, I'm sure folks understand that, but it just, well, some folks may understand. I don't know, but I can't say everybody does. But some folks may not even understand that, but are not even want to understand that. But like I said, that was just something that, of course, intrigues me. And I'm like, I was not arguing with the lady, I would just talk or give my two cents as always about different things. And one of her things was, of course, she started going off on me. I wasn't even upset about the situation. She was just talking about, like I said, I've had many of these conversations with black women actually lately. And like I said, it just seems like she was talking about a Boaz and all this stuff from the Bible and all these things. I understand that people want to help mates and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. I understand that. But my thing is when you're so obsessed with it, at some point you're, that's all that you're focused on. And this man got to marry me. This man got to do this. But you don't have way to have your shit together. That, that, that really bothers me. And you're, you're, and you're thinking that marriage is going to be the know-all, end-all. When it's going to, of course, this man ain't going to cheat on you. He's going to be yours. Or um, nothing's going to happen within this marriage. And it's just like a fantasy world to me. Like I said, that's just the way I think about things. Um, and comment down below, I guess, whatever your your stance is, but, but like I said, definitely it just seems like it's, like I said, specifically for the black women that I've seen, and not every black woman, but a lot of the ones that I've seen lately, it just seems like, what is the deal? I'm just like, okay, and a lot of them are, of course, against the course thing with somebody before you're married and that kind of thing, and I'm like, okay, I, how would you know somebody if you don't, to me, if you don't stay with them? That just logically makes sense to me. I mean, I understand what the what people say the Bible says and things like that, but like I said, definitely, I'm like, how would you not know a person? A person can be showing you all kinds of things before you get married or be, well, be, well, well, before you even stay together, put it that way. How would you know how, how, how clean or how nasty or how dirty this person is if you have to, you have to stay with them? You all get into a relationship, and like I said, definitely comment down below if, if you have other ways that this can happen, I guess I put it that way. But like I said, what other, I mean, how can you get to know a person? Usually within the first year, maybe, of staying with somebody, you will not 
No, a lot some 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 sometimes you can, of course. Sometimes you pick up on subtle clues and different red flags and different things that's going on. But like I said, definitely if you don't know this person and you're talking about moving in with this person, you haven't even the person ain't stayed at night and they did all these things, might how in the world would you know how that person's gonna be if you all are living with each other 24 hours a day all of a sudden? You got married yesterday or you got moving in yesterday, I guess this morning, and you're like, okay, I don't even like this person. Like I said, I'm, I know that it happens. I've talked to people where that has happened with a lot of people actually, but whether or not they're happy within their marriage. And it's like, okay, are we so much in a fantasy world and so much, I don't know if it's living in the old times, I'm not sure what it is. And like I said, if you know, have any idea or wanna, I guess comment down below some of the things that you may be thinking about about marriage and kind of where these beliefs may, may, may be coming from, I guess you can say. Cause now I'm of course asking people about things that they don't never reply to that part. They get upset with me, calling me dumbass and all this kind of stuff. And I ain't never been fucking married. And those are the kind of responses I have gotten from black women actually in the past uh, about two or three months. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just asking y'all a question about marriage and different things like that. I'm not even upset about the situation. I don't care what you believe. I'm just challenging you just to ask your damn question. And like I said, I've, I've gotten cursed out a few times, actually. But I'm laughing about it. But I mean, it's funny to me because I'm like, okay, if you can't even have a conversation with me and I'm just a person online, how do you expect to have a conversation with your with your supposed, supposedly husband, I guess, in the, in, in the future when you can't even face some of the truth, I guess, well, in my eyes, some of the things that, that, that may be the truth in my eyes and some of the things that you may be, I guess, somebody may, may, may want to think about considering that they're looking at marriage only and, and all these kind of things. And I'm just like, okay, that you're not even respecting me enough to even give my opinion. So how are you going to treat this man or this woman, that, I guess, that you, I guess, man, is more, um, man, I guess, uh, what is it called? The regular norm type of relationship, but is what they were talking about. But I'm like, okay, if you can't respect me on this post and respect what I'm saying, I guess my point of view, how are you even going to respect the man's point of view when he's trying to get into a relationship with you? And he and, and, and if he disagrees with something that you're saying, like I said, to me, that just made no sense. But, but like I said, I wasn't there to, of course, go off on people, which I, I was being very respectful, as, as, as respectful as I can. But I was the one getting off, getting going off on when I was just asking questions. And, and like I said, that just mind boggles me. I'm like, every, um, I, like I said, I'm just specifically talking to, I guess I'm sure other people too. But like I said, these black women were just so upset about me asking questions about the marriage. And one of the times I was just asking about, um, cause they were making reference to about how you can, a marriage, cause the question was about marriage actually. It was just about how, Whatever it was, to the end of what I was talking about was about, because um, some, some folks were saying that you couldn't, um, that if you're just dating somebody, or you're in a committed relationship with somebody that you, if something happens to you, they can't make all those decisions, blah, blah, blah. And my, my thing, I guess I replied back was talking about, because I've always felt this way, that no matter whether you're married or in a committed relationship, anybody can make a decision about you. It depends on whoever you put on your will or whoever you make the beneficiary of any of those policies that you have put on your insurance. I don't know, put on your bank account, whatever you want to do. Like I said, all those things to me make logical sense. If you don't want to get married, that's the way you do things. You just put folks on your beneficiary list. That's all that goes. And I was argued up and down that that's not the way it's supposed to go. I deal with insurance. I deal with wills. I deal with, um, uh, what is it called? Um, Lord? The legal, well, I forgot what it's called. Like when you're taking care of somebody, I guess medically, and, you're, and you have like the legal right, I forgot what it's called, Lord. The legal right to take care of this person and make decisions about the person. That goes along with the wills, but I forgot the name of it, y'all. I do this every single day, but I, I forgot the damn name of it right now. But, but like I said, I, I was just letting them know that if you're in a committed relationship and you're not married, there are ways that a person can, of course, make those lifelong decisions for you or make decisions for you, I guess, if you get sick or something happens. And I was arguing up and down that that's not true and that kind of thing. I'm just like, okay, what do you not understand? Anybody can put anybody, even a child, on their bank accounts. Anybody can put anybody on their wills if they have life insurance, anything. You can sign anybody as a beneficiary. It just depends on what that person wants to do. Just because you're married to a person doesn't mean that that they're going to put you on their insurance and, and, and I guess if they die, you, you, you can make decisions. It could be their mother or their kids making those decisions. They can put anybody on there. Like I said, that was just my, my, I guess my, um, my response back to them. I'm like, okay, that's not the case. I work with this every day. Power of attorney. That's what I was trying to say. Power of attorney. 
you have all those ways, I guess, things to do like that. You can you can make anybody the power of attorney over you. Those you're right mind, sound body, that kind of thing, no matter if you're married or not to the person. And like I was saying, it just seems like people don't understand that. I, like I said again, I'm not saying that marriage is bad. I'm not saying that at all. This is just my taboo conversation as far as just me getting some more understanding and talking to you all about, I guess, of course, like my views. And I want to hear about you all's views as well. I don't know if there's anybody on here. I don't think so. Probably so early. So, but if anybody wants to come on camera with me this morning, but, but like I said, it just seems like, okay, I, I understand marriage, of course, is a sacred union to some and that kind of thing, or some are forced in marriage in other countries or whatever, but I'm just like, some things to me just make logical sense when you're talking about relationships and when you're talking about commitments and things like that. It just seems like, okay, I know I'm like that crazy. I'm like, do anybody else not see this? I'm just like, what is the deal? And I'm like, okay, you can still be, because I know they're focused more on the, the marriage instead of the commitment. I'm like, before you even get married, you have to be friends and have a bond with this person. You have to, of course, have some kind of friendship and connection with this person. How do you expect for anything to even go forward and move forward was always my question. It's still my question. I'm like, because I know I've always been one. I've said it in videos, and, and it should be on YouTube somewhere, but talking about marriage years ago, I'm like, okay, you, and I was challenging it back then as well, the same thing I'm doing, kind of, but not in this video, but I'm just, I'm just giving my, just ideas about marriage and commitment and that kind of thing, but definitely, like I said, comment down below what you all's thoughts are, but like I said, as far as that particular video, I was talking about how folks, of course, make marriage their no all, end all, be all, when, of course, you work all this time trying to get the marriage going, trying to get your dress, trying to prepare for your marriage and get like, for, like the actual big day. But then after you get married, it's just like, okay, everything goes to the wayside. And I'm like, okay, the, the main thing shouldn't just be a marriage. It should be your friendship. It should be your connection. It should be your communication, how well you all gel together, how well you all gel together in the bedroom as well. It just seems like I'm like, okay, are folks miss, missing that point? I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, it just seems like that that's what I have seen. And that's what I've heard, heard people say and talk about. Now, actually, whether they're actually living that lifestyle, not having a live-in boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know. But like I said, this is what people present when they come online. I guess I put it that way. And yes, I'm always going to challenge that. And like I said, that, that was one thing I want to make sure I talk to y'all about, too, in the beginning of this video, just, just to let you all know, yes, I'm here to challenge all those norms. That's something that I've always talked about, something that I've said I was going to do. And I'm going to do it. I put it that way. But like I said, definitely some of you all may not like that. I guess I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get some nasty messages in my inbox today. But, but like I said, this is just definitely something that's been on my mind. And then me and my partner was also talking about, because I've been seeing a lot of uh, people talk about, of course, if you're not married, you're still single. And I don't know if you all have heard anybody say anything like that. If you're not married, you're still single. My thing is, okay, which I know when I hear that, it just sounds like to me that um, you're not married, you're not single. It just seems like, okay, because there was a thing on the radio this morning, too, talking about some lady, this pastor, he was engaged, and um, he was, I guess she thought he was flirting with her and wanted to take her out and ask her to lunch and all this kind of stuff. And she was just saying she was going to go because if you're not married, you're single. And I'm like, to me, that, that that's, that's hella backwards and hella, I mean, very, very, um, um, what is it called, the word is? I don't know, hypocrisy, whatever that word is, I don't know, but it, it definitely goes against what, what people are constantly talking about, commitment and all these things, if you're trying to get with somebody, you know, normally know this person is, of course, already in a relationship, getting married or engaged, all these kind of things, why in the world would you still say that they're single they're, and, and they're still available, that's not the truth, like I said, I know everybody probably don't say that, but that's what I have seen a lot of, and to me, that's just a sad chick's mentality, just, just, just like my guy was saying this morning, that is definitely a sad chick's mentality. I'm like, okay, just because the person isn't married does not give you free game to go and try to date this person unless they're actually single where they don't have another committed partner. That's what I mean. If you're dealing with the person that's, of course, not, <clears throat> that's in a relationship, and you're normally going with this person regardless of who, whoever asks who. My thing is if the person is not single, single, where they're not seeing anybody and they're just dating along, trying to get the feel of people. That's a totally different thing I'm talking about. I'm talking about for those folks who are actually in a committed relationship, but they're not married. And it, some of them could be married, but, but still. Saying that, of course, a person is, if they're not uh, married, they're still single, that it's free game for you to go try to date and all these things. To me, that's just not right. But like I said, I hear that a lot, actually. Like, I've been hearing that a lot. Not just lately, but of course, the last, I don't know how many years. 
and like I said, we had a very interesting, me and my partner talked about all kind of stuff, y'all. But like I said, we definitely had a very interesting conversation this morning about that. And my thing is, of course, if somebody's in a committed relationship, that's your your hand should be off of that person. And like I said, I just don't know what where, where, where folks get off thinking that it's right to, to, of course, approach somebody and try to, of course, still say, yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm go meet this person at the restaurant and try to have a date with this person knowing that they're in a, already in a relationship or already getting married soon or whatever the case may be. And that's what this lady was talking about. And I'm just like, okay, everybody want to put down side chicks and all this kind of stuff, but you're sitting up here doing the same damn thing. I'm like, okay, that's the same exact thing as a, at the same way a child, a child, Lord, um, a sad chick is going to think that they can just go talk to this person, be with this person and this married because they're married. They're, they're the sad person. They don't care. That kind of thing. It just makes no sense to me. And like I said, I, I definitely, like I said, he and I had that conversation this morning just to, so I can try to get some understanding. I mean, I still don't have any understanding, but I still keep seeing folks say that and just, and just doing these things. Well, as they, some of them may not be doing it. I don't know. But for what they say, they are doing it. I guess not not everybody, but some people are. And like I said, I've heard other coaches talk about if you're not single, you're married as well. I mean, if you're not married, you're, you're single as well. And I'm just like, okay, why would you coach somebody? I, mean, I don't know. I just, like I said, to me, it just seems like I don't know if it's people just don't understand. People just don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. And like I said, those kind of things just bother me. Because, of course, me and my guy are in a committed relationship as well. And I'm not still single. I mean, I don't call myself single because I might actually got a ring on my finger and not married. And I don't know where, where, where folks get off. That's the that's the only thing that, that you have to have in order to call somebody your partner, your relationship, or your honey, or your boo, or whatever you want to call them. I'm just like, okay, that, I don't know. I, like I said, I just, that's just the type of thing that, that just really bothers me. And like I said, if you've heard these kind of things, can y'all comment down below? Kind of have... I guess how it made you feel and kind of how you thought about it, I guess I put it that way. And if you said this yourself, definitely comment down below as well. Like I said, I've seen other cultures, relationship coaches talk about that as well. If you're not married, I mean, if you're, if you're not married, you're still single, basically saying that it's free reign for you to do whatever you still want to do. And in my eyes, commitment, before anybody gets into a relationship, there is some kind of commitment, I put it that way. Some kind of commitment period before if you all are going to get married or you are going to have a if you don't want to get married, but have a commitment ceremony, whatever y'all plan on doing, stand together for years, whatever it is, I don't care. But, but like I said, it still does not give a person free reign to just go and just just date these people because they're not actually may have a ring on their finger. That should that 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 to me speaks to the morals of whoever's saying that. I guess, and I've challenged some of these women, of course, as well. I'm just like, okay, what are you talking about? So if you're in a relationship with somebody you're trying to date and get to know, so it's okay for, for me to go fuck them and get, and get to know them as well and still date them and don't care about you. That I mean that that that, that really makes no sense to me. And like I said, that just shows me that a lot and a lot of the women that not, I can't say a lot, but some of the women that have talked about marriages the know all be all, that's those are like some of the statements that they have said because I've seen it. And I'm just like, okay, that's 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 very hyper hypocritical. It goes against what you just said for one. I'm just like, what's the point? But I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's just me. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's probably not me. I'm sure some of y'all may feel the same way as well. It just seems like, okay, what is the point? If you're talking about commitment and all these things and not um, having a good relationship and all these things, how is saying that, I mean, how is talking to somebody else's man or woman or that kind of thing going to be a good, a, a, a good thing to do? I just don't understand. And I know that folks out there, there are relationships approach others, that kind of thing too. I know that. But for, I don't know, like I said, that just bothers me. And I'm just like, okay, how can you say that you're for marriage and for commitment and all these things, but you're going against that by saying that if they're not married, they're single, giving yourself a free reign to go and date these people and do whatever. These people, I'm like, that's not right. Like I said, that's just crazy to me. And like I said, I never, I still haven't understood why. And like I said, I know this is a religious community, so if you all have any reasons to ask to why or if you said these things yourself, Definitely let me know. And like I said, I just I just want to come on video this morning. Just I did check that. I guess I put it that way. Dealing with marriage and stuff like that. And yes, like I said, I have been married. I understand now, going on throughout my years, how marriage can be. I guess I put it that way. But it does not mean that it's the no all end all. To me, it doesn't. So to some of you all in May, yes, I understand that. But to me, it just doesn't. And like I said, I've just always challenged that because it just in my mind, it's just like okay, you so focus on the marriage and so focus on the getting married these kind of things but what's going to happen after you get married i mean you still have to have a life you still have to to get to know this person you still have to be able to of course 
work with this person to, of course, compromise on whatever y'all are compromising on, I guess, and, of course, get through these situations. But I'm like, okay, if you can't do it, I don't know. Like I said, it just bothers me. If it's not going on before the marriage, how do you expect for it to go on afterwards? And it just seems like, I know, getting back to what I first said, it just seems like some folks are just so hell-bent on the marriage, the marriage, the marriage. And it's like, okay, do you not understand that the person in the marriage can do the same thing to you, regardless of, as, as to if you have a marriage certificate or not or a ring on your finger? That just mind-boggles me. And it just seems like a lot of folks think that's the know-all, be-all. I'm like, okay, you need to make sure your relationship is actually solid first before you even talk about marriage and all these kind of things and, and doing all these things. Like I said, that was just something that I have been noticing. I don't know if you all have noticed any of that at all lately at all, but maybe maybe just me, I have. But like I said, I always try to um, give my two cents on situ which I know everybody's not going to feel the way I feel. I know that, which I understand that. I'm not trying to get you to feel the way I feel. I'm just questioning whether that, whether our thinking sometimes can... Can be stupid, I put it that way about different things, but we still know that sometimes things may not work. We still may know sometimes things don't aren't right, but but we still go ahead and do it anyway. And I'm like, why? It's the what is the reason? At least to me, what is the reasoning behind that? Some folks may not have a reasoning behind it. I understand that as well. But like I said, these things just bother me. So I don't know. I guess I'm just rambling on now. But but like I said, if you have known anybody who's just gotten married just to say for the sake of getting married or if you know somebody that's gotten married for the sake of getting married and saying that um their man is a woman is never going to cheat on them is always going to be a one all this kind of stuff please comment down below because i really love to know kind of what the thinking if you know what the thinking or the mindset was behind that and also if you've heard of anybody saying that because i've heard many women it was black women i'm sure other women say it too i just have a firm reference for i guess for the black women but like I said, as far as if they're not married, they're still single. And like I said, like I said, that's always bothered me. I'm just like, okay, if they're married, not, 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 if they're not actually having a ring on their finger or an actual marriage certificate, but they're in a relationship with somebody else when they're committed, they're still not a single person. I, I just don't understand the logic of thinking. Like I said, that's just me and a logic, and a logic, logic of thinking, saying that, saying that they're still free game if they're not actually married. I guess I put it that way. Like I said, the commitment means more to me than a marriage certificate. The commitment, the bond, and the friendship it always has. I don't care who I was talking to, who I was going with, anything else. Like I said, that has been the main thing for me always is, is, is the connection and the bond first. I don't care about the marriage. If we can't even bond and can't even talk and can't even have a good friendship, can't even work on things together, can't even have a decent conversation without arguing, howling, yelling, what's the point of the, of, of, of the marriage anyway or the commitment, I guess, for that matter either? Like I said, it really makes no sense. And the marriage is not going to save you all from being not being cheated on or as we know because, the, of course, there's a lot of, cheating going on I guess I put it that way the, I, I, I don't know what the percentages are I have no idea but when I asked the question a few months ago about who been cheated on in this group damn near all of y'all a lot of folks at least a hundred or so had said that yes I have been including me I'm like okay there's only like 200 200 some folks in this group so that's at least half the folks so I'm sure of course the same thing is going on in the world as well and our relationships that we call monogamous and all these kind of things and I'm just trying to like I said just just giving you all my thoughts this morning about marriage and monogamy and marriage and focusing on more of the connection and the friendship instead of just the actual day itself and the marriage and you all have no idea what to do afterwards and that kind of thing and the, also the marriage and if you're not married you're single like i said that 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 mindset is definitely it just makes me angry and it mind boggles me because in my mind everybody does not have to get married is not to know all be all but some folks make it seem like that's that's the only thing that you have to do in a relationship, and it's not. Like I said, the main thing that I try to tell people when I'm commenting and talking to other people about relationships and that kind of thing is always the connection and the bond and the communication. If you all don't have that, there is no relationship. All you're going to have is a bunch of damn chaos. And like I said, for, for those who look at this video, definitely make sure you comment down below any of the things that I touched on in this video, whether you've dealt with it, whether you're one who said some of these things or whatnot, like I said, I definitely want to know and just, and just want to know kind of what your concept of marriage is and if it's the know-all, end-all for you or, or, or if it was, I guess I put it that way. If that's the only thing that you have focused on and not focused on the actual relationship itself, like I said, those are the things I always, I always go in depth about stuff. I always think about everything that I can think of possibly about a situation. That's just me. I'm a researcher at heart as well. So I all there. Like I said, I definitely know if anybody's having these conversations or have anybody had these conversations as well. Kind of what you all talked about, what happened, whether 
it may this makes sense to you i guess i put it that way whether it's uh, or, or whether there's other options out there that folks haven't looked at as well when it comes to marriage and relationships and those kind of things that we hadn't talked about in this video so definitely comment down below and with that i'm going to get off here as i got to get ready to go to work this morning y'all so i just want to say i hope y'all have a great day and i hope this video has not triggered anybody it may have i'm sure but but like i said definitely if it has you can definitely talk to me in my inbox that's fine I'm sure I'm going to get some messages afterwards anyway, but that's fine. But, but like I said, definitely just let me know your comments, your thoughts about this video down below. And, of course, how marriage um, seems to you, um, your concept of marriage, I guess I put it that way. Whether it's a know-all, be-all, and whether if you're married, I mean, if you're not married, you're single, and it's just open game for anybody. So, so like I said, definitely comment on that down below because I want to hear from you all and hear your thoughts on this as well. So with that... Like I said, everybody have a great day. Take care, y'all. And this is Sonetta, your relationship coach, signing off. So have a good day, y'all.